Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel once again. In case you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining this channel and if you're a returning subscriber, you're so much welcome back. I have actually seen we have grown. We are now nearing 12k and if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because why not? It's all about travel, lifestyle and uh, real estate. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me at Lavin Maruti. Let's be friends. So today we are back to apartments and very nice apartments as a matter of fact. Today I shall be taking you through some of the apartments along Eastern Bypass. I went there slightly more than a month ago. This building was still being constructed and right now as we speak it's finished. The apartment that I shall be taking you through, it is a two bedroom apartment. Let's go and have a look at this two bedroom apartment that I'm talking about and you guys will be the judge. This is the building that you shall be viewing today. As I said, it has two bedroom apartments. It's a six, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it's six story building. There are two faces, but this is the completed one. Therefore, let's go inside and see how this apartment looks like. shall just have a comparison of two apartments one is that one right there and the other one is on this opposite end this is the fourth floor of this building starting with this apartment right here once you enter you notice how big this space is it's so spacious it's so airy it has this very huge window and to add on that that's where also the balcony is at of which you shall look in a couple of minutes but let's just have a look at this space you have a lot of sockets and you can see you have also an open plan kitchen to this balcony you can notice that there is a single double socket and this balcony is so spacious just like the living room it overlooks the thicker super highway eastern bypass and just the surrounding areas actually from this balcony you can see kenyatta university i'll show you that in just a few Just next to the living room is the kitchen. I don't know whether to describe this as an open plan kitchen, probably I should, but this is how it looks like. You have this nice lighting. The tiles are checked, the finishing is just simply amazing and I can't complain much about this space really. You guys, tell me, what do you think about this kitchen space? I feel like it has enough space you also have a pantry right there as you guys can see and inside the pantry you also have a single double socket this is so thoughtful of them and also the colors of the wall oh my gosh the painting of the house it does matter because you know the good thing about these earthly colors they can complement anything that you have in mind for your home so it's just easy to design your home according to your preferences if you have colors like green red in the house you it will be so difficult to complement maybe your chairs your whichever you know some people are very sensitive about such stuff and i think i'm just one of them i can't move into a house that is painted very vibrant colors this is the laundry room and as you can see it can accommodate a washing machine it's a good size for a laundry room i can't complain much about this the colors are amazing therefore yeah there's not much to talk about in this room moving away from the kitchen we go to this where we were from so this is the first bedroom right here it is so special as you guys can see the closet is enough and have you guys noticed something If you haven't noticed, this bedroom has not one, not two, but three windows, guys. 
most of the apartments that I review, they normally have one window in the bedrooms and this one has three. I think this is just one of the few apartments I've come across with this feature, which is amazing. This is how the bathroom looks like. It's a Amazon suite and you can see this size is so good. It's precious. It is so bright. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing I can complain about here, but I can complain about this washroom right here. One, it's because it's dark. As you have noticed, it's dark. Like the clip, even it's not in good quality. But the size, it's a good size, and everything else is just good apart from the lighting of this room. This is actually the darkest room among all the others. Anyways, moving on to the last room, which is the second bedroom. This second bedroom, it's not a master on suite. Again, the size is reasonable. The lighting is amazing. The finishing is nice. What else? I don't know what else. You guys comment down below. Let me know. So now let's go and compare to the apartments on this other side and see if there's any difference. What I'm expecting to find here is that there is no big difference actually, maybe just the positioning, but let's find out. So once you enter this apartment, on the opposite end, the first thing you notice is the tiles, the lighting of the space, the spaciousness of the room, so, and the finishing of course. You can see the lightings, the type of lightings they've used are all the same. I don't want to spend much time here because most of the things are more or less the same. I just want to show you both sides of the coin so that we know which side is better in terms of lighting, views and all that kind of stuff. the only noticeable difference is the views from the balcony any other thing is similar actually i think all the houses maybe all the apartments they have dark washrooms you remember also the first apartment the washroom was the darkest room and also in this apartment you see it's so dark and it's the only room that is dark too many times we made the call that this is it let's break it all all the love is made up uh baby drink up this is our stuff so we've sent to make us last Buried in life right till we last Come on, we can make up uh, Honey, come on, let's not break up
the rent of this two bedroom apartment that I've shown you guys is 35,000 Kenya shillings. Wi-Fi is included in the rent, therefore you won't have to pay Wi-Fi separately, which is a good idea. The deposit is 35,000 Kenya shillings, as you would expect. And electricity is tokens, and you have ample parking. Therefore, if you're interested, you can check the description box. I've put some contacts there. Anyway, guys, we've come to the end of this vlog. If you have liked this apartment, give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in the next. Until next time, bye.